11 October is Domestic Violence Awareness Month and One Place Family Justice Center had a breakfast this morning to talk about what domestic violence looks like in our community. Your reporter Jillian Brooks was there and joins us now live to break down the numbers. Jillian. Claire, in August alone, Birmingham police responded to more than 275 domestic violence calls. Now, and the number has gone down in recent years, but leaders say it's still unacceptable and there's work that needs to be done that starts with the community. And I can't help but wonder if the reason that domestic violence continues to be ignored is because the people who are most affected are women. Shannon Oakwin is a deputy district attorney with the Jefferson County Birmingham Division. She says domestic violence doesn't just happen behind closed doors. It's a community safety problem, saying in a community where we see hundreds of homicides a year, domestic violence deserves our attention. 20% of homicides every year are related to domestic violence. This is reality, but it is a reality that is swept under the rug, and it is a reality that is hidden behind closed doors, and it is a reality that nobody talks about. In 2023, the DA reported more than 12,000 calls for service. That's 33 calls a day related to domestic violence. A lot of it is, you know, when our officers encounter those cases, getting with detectives, getting our victims to one place, getting them all the services that they need so they can help. You know, we can prosecute the cases, but we can also get the victims the ability to get away and get out of those situations, which is probably one of the hardest things for a domestic violence victim is to get out of that particular situation. One Place Family Justice Center works to make the process easier and more comfortable for victims, allowing them to get all of the help that they need in one place. Every day, the One Place Family Justice Center is impacting lives, empowering people, saving lives, making sure that justice is served, making sure that those individuals those survivors know that they're not alone. Now, one in three women and one in seven men will experience will be impacted, excuse me, by domestic violence in their lifetime. Now, leaders who spoke this morning say this isn't a problem that only law enforcement and prosecutors can solve, but as a community that we take ownership of the issue and stand with those victims. Your reporter live in Birmingham. I'm Jillian Brooks for WBRC 6 News on your side. Thank you, Jillian.